next section that I'm going to work on is the this top edge that goes right on top of here and the instructions it does show but you need to be aware there's two pieces it combines let's see it's one two three five pieces so you've got one two three four and then the fifth is a back piece that covers them both that fits right here on the ship the first two sections are on this number two and right below the anchors and you can see they're right in here and these are a little thicker and takes up this whole piece goes all the way across so that's the the part that goes directly on the edge of the ship itself right up here and then this thinner one that's just on the outside of the deck it's if you look closely you can see the cutout right there there's one and the others on this side and that's the top surface okay here's the pieces cut out the four pieces this over here will be the top edge that will show and this thicker one is the one that goes on the bottom directly attaching to the ship what I've decided to do first I'm going to take just a little bit of super glue just a touch now I'm going to try and match them up and get, oops, get the approximate shape of the ship Okay, now that that's somewhat dry now, I've only waited, you know, a minute or so, and it does set up quickly. Now I'm going to gently try and move it onto the ship. Okay, so now... I can put a little super glue on the front, get it attached, and then work my way back. Okay, I now have just the front, just the two sides super glued onto the ship. The rest all the way back is not glued yet. And you can see, see it's resting off the, it's not actually on the rail. I've also gone ahead, and even though this tip is much smaller, I've also glued these two together because it did make it much more stable putting it on. So in just a few minutes I'll be able to uh, move this one and glue it on top of this. I did end up using some rubber bands to hold this down because I used a combination of the super glue and this uh, tacky glue. So I would do every other drop all the way down and that was just my personal preference. I don't have a specific reason why I did that that way. So this will dry in just uh, a few more minutes. I'll let the super glue set up completely and then I'll be putting the top. Right on the tip this was a little bit unlevel and so I uh, did sand that off a little. And I just noticed I have some dirt under my fingernails. Sorry about that. I did some work out in the garden today, or flower beds, flower beds I should say, I don't have a garden, other than a tomato plant on my patio. Okay, so this is all set, I'm going to test fit this, I'm going to do the same thing, that worked really well, I'm just going to tack it right at the center here, let that dry, and then I can adjust where it places on the rest of the ship. I'm going to want to center this, so I'm going to need to turn it towards me instead of the camera. I can line those up pretty well. If anything, the top one can go out a little further. Here's another one of the tricky ones. D2 is this little piece that goes across the back. It's a little hard to find, but it is on the piece that had the deck 
and right up here is D2 and I don't think you can see but there is a D2 right there so this is the back part however there's also this part here see the little curve in it, it has four little holes I'm not sure if it's designated on here I know that it is N7 and there are actually two N7's there's a nice thick one right there and then on the thinner board as soon as I find it there is another N7 right there so we'll see how that all comes together next okay on piece D2 it ends up this is a little too small so what I will do is I will just cut one out of some of the scrap and make it fit so sometimes that happens but the things nice about working with wood you can make another piece using this as a pattern to Part 7 will feature making the masts, and I did not use the design from the kit. I came up with my own design to make it look more like a sailing ship or a pirate ship. And uh, then we'll start running some of the lines and how you tie some of the knots. So stay tuned for that. It'll be next.